Welcome back tech enthusiasts. In today's episode we are diving into the fascinating world of software repackaging. So let's uncover how this process plays a pivotal role in organization software lifecycle management. Repackaging is like giving a software a new suit, tailored deployment, customization and maintenance for optimal performance. But how does it work? It involves capturing an existing installation, transforming it into an installer package and then customizing it to suit specific deployment needs. Repackaging isn't just about fashion, it's about consistency. Following best practices and compliance standards ensures smooth and reliable installations. Preparation is key to a successful repackaging journey. Understanding the software, gathering resources and setting up a solid foundation are all vital. Understanding the software is the foundation, compile detailed documentation, guides, manuals, release notes, know its ins and outs, dependencies and requirements. By the way, dependencies matter. You need to identify what the application relies on, routine libraries, database connectors, frameworks, etc. These are the ingredients for a smooth installation. Now, licensing and legality matter too. Now, you need to understand the software licensing agreements and make sure you're on the right side of the law. Once you are armed with knowledge, gather your tools, Repackaging tools like Advanced Installer, Virtual Machines or Test Environments are your trusty companions. Now working in a clean control environment is essential. It ensures accurate, reliable and repeatable repackaging. Speaking of tools, Advanced Installer's Repackager is a gem for converting traditional installs into MSI packages. Automated repackaging, snapshot technology, intelligent conflict resolution, Advanced Installer Repackager has all the bells and whistles. Advanced Repackager also connects to multiple VM platforms, making your repackaging experience even smoother. But remember, capturing isn't the end game. Cleanup matters too. Capture Cleanup ensures your package only contains the essentials. No unnecessary baggage, just what's needed. So let's put this theory into practice with VLC Media Player. Imagine repackaging it for a seamless experience. With Advanced Repackager, it's a breeze. Now choose your snapshot method, local, windows, sandbox, VM or docker. So what we are going to do is click capture setup, select your VLC media player and as mentioned you can start in sandbox, start in a specific type of virtual machine or in docker. I will start locally. Now we need to snap the project, start the process and let the repackager do its magic. Now this will cover the installation, capturing and will deliver our project. But remember, cleanup is crucial. Review and refine the capture changes for an optimal outcome. For example, if we have a look over the captured uh, experience in Advanced Repackager, let's go to Files and Folders. And in this case, apparently Advanced Installer captured everything correctly. It captured only these changes for the VLC, but it might happen, even if we do our best, that some additional uh, changes might be applied on the system in the same time that you need to clean up here. The same we go to the registry and let's see we have other current user these are the classes these are the extensions which VLC Media supports now let's see these are some cookies yes we don't need them good so we can uncheck this because I don't think we can Windows current version let's see cloud extend that's no apparently this is everything good and let's see under local machine classes we leave good clients yes for the media microsoft identity of course windows current version app pads this will leave explore autoplay handlers i'm guessing is still with, with, with vlc yes good so this is left this i don't need Okay, I don't think this is needed. Yes, we uncheck this. Registered applications. Yes, we leave it here. Same on the 32 bit media. Good. Microsoft Windows current version. Okay. The uninstall part we don't need, right? Uh, because the MSI will now appear in the add remove program. So this we uncheck. Mozilla plugins is with VideoLAN, registered applications is fine, 
this is everything related to VLC media player and I don't think we have anything on the system so let's see no so this we uncheck so this is how you clean your capture next we go to system and let's see um, yes I want to leave all the shortcuts you can delete or uh, modify them however you want no schedule tasks no users this is not an MSIX environment variables services drivers assemblies firewalls no file associations yes we have them all here as you can see advisory packager already added them into the project default programs added for all the previous file associations now if we open this in advanced installer the whole project will be converted and you con can continue to modify your project as needed directly in advanced installer so there you have it advanced repackager streamlines your experience define settings handle digital signatures and deliver your package building the package is the final step choose your build type and let advanced installer gather resources for you and there you have it the captivating world of software repackaging from understanding software to clean up it's all about precision and customization if you found this video insightful remember to hit that subscribe button like share with fellow tech enthusiasts until next time Happy repackaging.